hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how to make the best achari bhindi it's super delicious with roti chapati and boiled rice as well and the recipe is also very easy you can see the texture it's looking super tempting and super yummy the recipe is also very easy so guys let's see the recipe guys bhindi means okra or lady's finger so i have taken 200 grams of bhindi wash them properly and after draining the water nicely i have cut them into pieces you may notice the size of the pieces and i have taken 3 to 4 green chilies cutting lengthwise and here i have taken a big size onion finely chopped it will be about 1 cup of onion finely chopped and 2 medium sized tomatoes finely chopped it will be also about 1 cup of tomatoes and here about 1 tablespoon full of crushed garlic i am skipping the ginger but you may add it there is no problem and along with all of the things i am taking some curd about half cup of fresh curd curd is fully optional for this recipe but if you add it you will get a super delicious taste of the dish and i have beaten it a little if you skip the curd you have to add some lemon juice or some amchur powder that means dry mango powder to the dish so here I have taken 3 to 4 red chilies, dry red chilies and the rest of the things we need are available in our kitchen. So I am showing them later. At first we need to prepare our achari masala that means the Indian spices mixture for pickle. So I am taking 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds that means rye, 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds, half teaspoon of fennel seeds and 1 fourth teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. Now on medium to low heat we need to roast them until they are aromatic. It will take about 2 to 3 minutes on medium to low heat and now the spices are nicely aromatic and now I am taking them out into a plate. We need to let them cool down and after that we need to make a fine powder of them in a mixer grinder. And now in the same pan I am going to fry the okras. So I have added some cooking oil in the pan and now I am adding the okras. We have to fry them without salt until they are cooked 50%. The heat should be on medium now and we need to stir them occasionally. And after about 3 to 4 minutes the veggies are ready. They are cooked about 50% and there are some brown spots on them. So I am taking them out into a plate. And in the same pan we are going to make the gravy. So we need to add some more cooking oil. When the oil is heated well, we need to add some spices. So I am adding about half teaspoon of cumin seeds, a pinch of asafoetida, 3 to 4 dry red chilies and 2 to 3 bay leaves. And when everything is fried well, we need to add the onions in. So now I am adding the onion. After adding onions, we need to fry them until a light brown color. The heat should be on medium now. After the color is brown, I am adding now the crushed garlic. After adding garlic, we need to stir the mixture for a while continuously uh, until the raw flavor of garlic is gone. And after the raw flavor is gone, we need to add the tomatoes. So now I am adding the tomatoes. And quickly after adding tomatoes, we need to add some salt and spices. So at first, I am adding some salt according to taste about 1 teaspoon full, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, red chilli powder according to taste, 1 teaspoon of coriander seeds powder, I am taking half teaspoon toys and half teaspoon of garam masala. Now the heat should be on low and we need to stir the mixture very nicely and after that I am covering the pan for a while and here is the achari masala I made previously that means the spice mixture for pickle but now i am not going to add it i am going to add this spices mixture later for a nicely enhanced flavor now let's cover the pan for a while on the lowest heat until the tomatoes are nicely soft and after about three minutes the tomatoes are nicely soft now i can mash them nicely as you can see so now i am going to add the curd before adding the curd i am going to add some water if you follow this secret process your curd will never crumble so I am adding a little water and after that I am adding the curd. Here is my curd. After adding the curd I am going to put the heat on medium and after that after mixing very nicely I am going to cover the pan for about 3 to 4 minutes on medium heat. 
until the oil is released from the spices mixture. After about 3 to 4 minutes, the oil is released from the spices mixture, but the water is not dried up nicely, but it's not that necessary. So now I'm going to add the uh, green chilies and the veggies, that means okras. And along with this, I'm going to add the spices mixture, that means the achari masala. And now we need to mix everything very nicely. And now if you want to dry achari bhindi, then don't add water. Without water, mix everything very nicely and cover the pan for some time on the lowest heat until the veggies are cooked 100%. But I am going to make a gravy, I am going to make a thick gravy. So I am adding a little quantity of water. You may add the water quantity according to your wish, there is no problem, there is no boundness. So I am adding some more water. After adding water, now mixing everything nicely, I am going to cover the pan and cook the curry until the veggies are cooked 100%. The heat is on medium now and after about 5 to 6 minutes, this is the texture of the curry and our veggies are cooked very nicely 100%. Our gravy achari bhindi is almost done. At the end of this recipe, we need to garnish the curry. So I have some coriander leaves, fresh chopped. So I am adding them. After adding fresh coriander, we need to cook the curry for uh, about 1 minute again. And after that, our curry is done. Let's turn the heat off and serve our curry hot. I told you previously that if you are skipping the curd, you have to add some amchur powder, that means dry mango powder or some lemon juice to add some sourness to the curry. So our curry is done. Let's serve it. This curry is super delicious with boiled rice especially and you may enjoy it with roti and chapati as well. You may serve this curry with any kind of Indian staple dish. Everybody will enjoy it. So guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really like the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.